when in the world all the elements are input or entities are then how can there be a constant relationship is it possible never possible we are trying to emphasize an impossible thing and expressing an impossible thing and trying to say that it is possible but there is an expression After who? What? What is that? We all know, but we don't want to accept it because we are most of the time extroverted. That is the main reason why we are getting entangled. Ah, uh, why? Why we are getting? Stranded. Or why we are getting tangled, or why we are getting totally miserable with these relationships. We know day in and out, day in and day out, that these relationships are not permanent. These relationships are only temporary. These relationships are subject to change, and these relationships are ephemeral, and it is not constant. It is not eternal, but Simply out of ignorance, out of akhyana, we get totally caught in this vicious circle of very, very uh, paradoxical. Sometimes it is, it is embarrassing. Knowingly, we get. Get our subtraction. So, if at all there is one relationship, that relationship which is constant, which is eternal, which doesn't change, which is always permanent, that is the relationship. That is only one relationship. That is unique relationship. That is God. Relationship. It's the relationship between you and your God. It is the relationship between you and yourself. It is the relationship between you and your awareness. It is the relationship with with, with your own self, with your own God, who is presiding. And dwelling with all the creation, animate, inanimate, it seems because God knows that it is His creation, and all integral parts of His creation and Himself, and He sees as. They are his own creation, and not as a matter, but the energy is stored in the matter. That is, he clearly knows that it is his own amsha or an integral part. But in our relationship, we always see as a dwaita, as a duality, with a beda bawa, with a second or third person. But we don't see the relationship as a first person, as your own reflection of the Atman in the other person, as God sees, because God knows that it is His creation. He is the Creator. He is the Creator. He is the Creation. So for Him, there is no Veda Bhava. There is no difference. So the question of relationship also doesn't come into picture. Because he is one and the same. That is the question of relationship. There, the very word relationship vanishes for the God because it is His creation. It is He is the Creator, and it is created by Him. So, Creator, creation, and the Creator, all the three are one and the same. So, there is no question of relationship. 
That is why, even though if you want to say that particular thing, that particular relationship, from our ignorant mind, from our egoistic mind, we have to say that it is a relationship between in this jagat, in this Maya world, between the individual entity and the God is a permanent relationship with God. We are not separate from God, so we are one with the God, we are the Amsa of the God, but the integral part of the God, so that particular Paradoxically, even though there is a relationship, for our subject, proper, the relationship is constant, continuous, eternal, no change in that out of, out of the individual ego, out of the individual ahankara, out of the individual fallacy of the paradox, because he thinks that he is different from God, naturally there will be right of Hava, there will be, from his angle, there will be different types of relationships because sometimes we say, sometimes we don't say. Sometimes when the things are good, we go to the temple. Sometimes when the things are not favorable, we blame the God. So the relationship getting the same there. So, but that's not the case with the God. God, whether you praise Him or not, whether you praise Him or not, whether you scold Him or not, whether you comment Him or not, He still treats you as an integral part of Him, as an answer of Him, because you are His creation. And He knows all the entities in this universe are His own past and parcel, so there is no duality or there is no triviality, there is no many, one to many, there is only one and the only one. They because the whole relationship drops by itself to make from duality unity or a twice I to a twice I to a twice I If the outlook of the attitude is towards the nucleus of energy instead of perishing or changing matter, then there is right understanding that energy is neither created nor destroyed. This is a fundamental law of conservation of energy. But only it is transformed from one form to another. But in total, the energy remains the same, absolutely. If this understanding is there, then there is no problem with the religion. So, as an individual, we should be very vigilant, very alert and aware about the eternal or the constant relationship with the God's creation, His energy, and finally, so the Atman, the consciousness, which is beyond things, or even a step ahead beyond any relationship. The very word relationship, awareness, will lose its significance because you are starting the relationship with the two entities or one to one or one to many entities. And finally, when you go into the into the non-dual aspect of the duality aspect, then that is the question of relationship. The very relationship doesn't stand, cannot stand because there is only one and one and only one unique creator created and the creation. So all the things get merged because of that, why is that? Because of the non So, at that level, if you are aware of that significance of that awareness of the non-duality of the Advaita, then even though in this Maya or in this Jagat or in this deluded world, there appears to be different entities, there appears to be Advaita Bhava, there appears to be one to many relationships, but the very awareness that the creation created and created one of the things 
I am your only announcer of the Lord. With this awareness, then we will be not subjected to any chinchilla of unstable mind. With all this awareness, many times we fall into the trap of Maya by identifying ourselves as physical bodies because of our delusion, our illusion, our ego, that I am the body. One, we are constantly aware that I am the soul, I am the Atman, I am the consciousness. And the same way, equally, when I also look into other person, the same phenomenon of the soul, of the Atman, of the consciousness, of the living embodiment of the God in him, then it is only a reflection of the Supreme Consciousness in all the human beings. Then that particular relationship in this jagat, in this maya, in this deluded world will not create anything. Then the relationship will be formed. Then the attitude will be different. Then the relationship will be constant. Then the relationship will be unique. And even though in the material world or in the mundane world, because of the time, physical changes may take place, physical relationships may take change, physical transactions may change, physical environment may change, and the time may change. But still, we are aware that the particular entity, the particular self, the particular Atman, the particular consciousness is one and the same as it is telling you, then your very outlook, your vision, your very insight is seen day by the relationship, even in this deluded world, or the Maya world, or the Jagat, will be constant, because you are not bothered about the changes that are taking place in you body, mind and intellect. You are not bothered about the changes that is taking place from time to time in the environment. You are not bothered about materialistic changes. You are not bothered about the physical, subtle element, five, five gross elements which is changing like the earth, water, fire, air and uh, air. Even though it appears to be changing, but it, it never changes because, as we said in the beginning itself, by the law of conservation of energy, only the personification of the energy or the transformation of the energy into the different parts of the matter has been changed, but in, in, a, in a nutshell or in an essence, the energy never changes because energy is never created nor destroyed. That is the same. That is Shakti or the energy or the, the Lord Himself who is the supreme energy, who is the supreme force of the supreme creator and who is the creator himself. So the energy can never change only transform. So once this particular idea of uh, uh, individual human being, of the animal, of the tangible, of the intangible thing, if we are aware of this particular concept, then the relationship, even in this Maya world, can be maintained because our outlook has changed. One is our outlook has changed because we are trying to see the Atman of the consciousness, of the soul, of the rule, of the self, 
whatever you want to call that is the indweller in every human being is changeless but what is changing the body is mind what is changing is the mind what is changing is the apparent relationship it is changing but in an absolute sense the relationship never changes because it is soul to soul it is atman to atman it is consciousness to consciousness it is root to root and there is never it is always a witness it is always an awareness this awareness of relationship if it is properly understood with the absolute awareness then any relationship so called in this world can constant can be eternal and can be need because of infinite we have already got within our self by knowing fully well that i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the intellect i am beyond these things i am beyond the body mind intellect entities i am the self the same self which is indwelling in every human being animal and thing so naturally if i can look or if i can observe into that then the real absolute relationship will be understood properly even if the relationship changes because of the variables involved in the relationships will be dynamically changing in the dynamic world